This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. The Atomo Regional Legacy Foundation is embarking on a study to reestablish historic buildings in the community. Samantha Croy is hanging out at the Downtown Theater to learn more about the project underway. Good morning, Samantha. Thanks, Ella. The Ottumwa Regional Legacy Foundation has made it their mission to reestablish historic buildings here in the community. And right now we're in the lobby of the Ottumwa Theater with co-chair of the Ottumwa Theater Project, Pam Coppins. How are you doing? Just wonderful. Thank you. A lot of work is being done here and a lot has gone into it. So tell me about the process from when you first started this project and where you thought it was going to go. Uh, about two years ago, Legacy Foundation bought the building and we quickly determined that this was a large project and we needed um, professional consultants to help guide us through determining what are we going to do with this building. Let's kind of break it down here, the timeline. When was it first purchased, the idea came about, and where are we now? How far into this? Uh, it was about two years ago, and where we're at now, we hired a consulting firm from Minneapolis Art Spaces. They are guiding us through this process. We've had focus groups, we've had community input, and I think uh, within another month, you're going to see announcements as to where we think we're going. I look for it to be a performance and events space, uh, perhaps a uh, commercial space with uh, like caf maybe a cafe, shops, uh, some retail, and um, collaborative space, perhaps office space. So I don't want to give anything away until we get our reports back, but um, that's what we're looking at. Right, and right behind us is the Capitol Theater, and this is pretty big, so maybe we can even combine a couple of those ideas absolutely, into one. Absolutely, absolutely. That, I, In fact, I'm sure that's what it's going to be. We're just going from the input from the community, so. Well, we're very excited to see where it's going to go. When we come back, we're going to head into the Capitol Theater with Jeff Kent, who has been doing a lot of construction here at the theater. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this morning. We'll follow the process of the Atoma Theater project, but for now, Good Morning Heartland will continue right after this. Meantime, let's head on back out to Samantha Croy. She's hanging out in Ottumwa, learning more about how uh, one organization is hoping to revitalize the historic areas. Good morning, Samantha. Thanks, Ella. If you're just joining us, I'm in Ottumwa this morning at the Capitol Theater here at the Ottumwa Theater. And before we were in the lobby talking to Pam Coppins about the process of going through the Ottumwa Theater project. And right now I'm with Jeff Kent, who is a contractor on the project. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Now, the theater, it, there's a lot going on. What was it from actually being here, sitting in the seats, watching movies compared to when you walked in to kind of get ready for the Ottumwa Theater project? Well, when I was a kid, this was a great place to come to. Uh, and when we came in to start work on it, originally it was just to clean up the lobby. The, the previous owner had left a lot of trash in it, and then we didn't realize the extent of the trash, but the trash was filled into the auditorium, up on the balcony, and in the other theater, the old Capitol Theater on the corner. So we hauled out at least 50 dumpsters of trash out of here just to get it opened up. So. And now what have you been doing as far as making sure that the building is sound and starting the process? Well, uh, the first thing was a roof. There, uh, the, the, basically, the roof on this theater, the old Ottumwa Theater slash Capri, uh, was gone. So we, we had a swimming pool inside here, and then the, the roof on the Capitol was starting to leak, and it just kept getting worse. So we now have two new roofs on both these buildings, and then we uh, went through and tried to waterproof the basements. We have sump pumps going, uh, fans, uh, to try to keep the mold down. And now you said that it was like a swimming pool in here. That is yep. not one of the uses that they're thinking about using this building for. And we're not really sure yet exactly, but what, what work needs to be done in order to get everything ready? It kind of depends on what they're going to want to do with it structure-wise. I mean, uh, you know, I've heard so many different ideas. Uh, and, you know, if they want to put in terraces in here, we'd have to build some little terrace stands, stuff like that. If they're just going to put in offices, we'd have to probably put in some sort of cubicle system. Uh, you know, again, it depends what they're going to come up with. There's so and, many different ideas. And how long are you thinking that this is going to take? Uh, again, whenever they get it started, I, I would say you're probably looking at six months, you know, something like that to get it going. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me this morning. A lot is going on here. We'll make sure to keep you updated as the process continues. But for now, Ella, we'll go ahead and send it back to you.